Like, obviously, the data analytics field is like rapidly evolving. I, I even had a conversation today is that, uh, about a person who wanted to stay within the tech leadership type of work because they want to remain current in the current landscape. So for people that have moved into the leadership role, how do you stay, how do you adapt to the changes and keep aligned to the new technologies uh, and methodologies that come in? Yeah, so that, that that's certainly a, a challenge, especially since most leaders usually have very busy uh, schedules already and, and little time to also deal with this. I, I always try to, to spend some time staying up to commu actual industry news. So mm -hmm. like read LinkedIn, read blogs, read newsletters and, and stay current on, th on that at least. But again, you, you can only do so much and it's certainly not possible to dive deeply into the technical details of each new technology and, and stay current on that. So you have to accept the fact that you can only scratch the surface. But I always had the best results and I, I thought it was the best idea to try to have a very broad approach and, and cover a lot of ground and, and different topics, different technologies, because you never know which topic will be more important in, in the future. For example, staying with the data field. I started out doing a lot of data analytics and then data science. And recently I started looking more into data engineering topics because yeah. I think they will certainly become more relevant in the next one, two, three years. So you, you have to adopt on, on a high level as well as on, on individual technologies. Yeah, no, I don't even like, we've definitely seen a shift recently, like what's all about data science models, but even the last two years, it's definitely now, it's definitely the drive for data engineering and data <laughs> management, because businesses yeah. are looking to get more out of their data and get it as fast as possible as well.